Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, hasn't it? So, since I've last filmed, it's been probably like a month, and I know I started this channel and I was like, I'm gonna post every week, I'm gonna do vlogs, I'm gonna do it all, and I have seriously slacked on that. So I'm trying to be better with the new year and I have a little bit more downtime, so here we are. So this video today is going to be kind of like a Black Friday haul and what I purchased online for Cyber Monday and Black Friday. And I just wanted to show you because I got some amazing steals and I'm really excited about them. So let's dive right in. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, my camera almost just toppled right off of my bar stool that it's sitting on right now. <sighs> Crisis averted. What I wanted to tell you before I almost broke my very expensive camera is that I have been seeing online um, these these like bubbly rings, kind of like this. I know there's a David Yerman ring that is like astronomically expensive, and I've been wanting to get my hands on it. I saw there was a dupe at. I think it was end of their stories, but it was a little too chunky for my fingers. I have very fat fingers and they're very wide right here and short. Um, thanks dad. <laughs> so it's, it's hard for me to get chunky rings like that to look normal. So what I found is that I are, I'm so, sometimes I just don't think I use my brain enough. Um, I have these two rings from Majori. This is the, um, let me try and do this. This is the dome ring. I've had this for so long, so it's a little scratched up. This is in uh, gold vermel, and then this is the croissant ring, which is the same thing as the dome ring, except has that little um, has the little design on it. So what I brilliantly figured out is that you can just I can just wear them together, and it gives the same look. Why didn't I think of that before? I've been searching for so long. Anyway, I'm very happy about this. Normally, I would just wear them like this. Because, I mean, I do like this, but like, Earth to Kelsey, I can just do this. Anyway, so, <laughs> now that that spiel is over, this had nothing to do with my Black Friday purchases, by the way, I just wanted to show you. Okay, so let's get into the first store that I purchased from, which would be Zara. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to show you my address. <laughs> so this is the box that it came in. I already opened it. I didn't take anything else out. I just wanted to make sure that everything was intact and correct. Without further ado, and I will um, insert some clips of me trying on everything because I know that that is important. And I love watching videos of hauls when people try them on because holding something up is not going to show me how it's going to look on my body. So I will insert clips of that. So the first is, the first that's in this box is this pleated jumpsuit. This is perfect for the holidays. Last year I went to Jared's holiday party with his company and everyone was in these like short dresses and I mean they looked fine but they were, you could tell that they were all so cold and I felt so good wearing a jumpsuit because I was covered and I still looked appropriate and I it was like this like emerald jumpsuit that I borrowed from my friend Nina so I decided to get the same type of jumpsuit but in black so that I could wear it to multiple for multiple occasions okay so here is the jumpsuit I'm actually super jazzed about this. It's a smidgen too short, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem if because I plan on wearing heels with this. But other than that, I feel really comfortable in it. I think it's super flattering with the pleats and this bow right here. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. <clears throat> the next thing I got is just this black dress. It's kind of, it's got that drop waist um, I don't own anything like this, but I th it, it was $14.95. You didn't see that. It didn't even load or focus. $14.95. So I was like, 
I might as well try it on. This will be super cute with like tights and boots and I think it'll be a great addition to my wardrobe. Okay, so here is the black dress with the drop waist. Upon further inspection, I don't know if this is exactly right for me. It hits me a little weird and I feel like it kind of shortens me and widens me. So this is probably going to be returned. Oh, and it's like so super long in the back. Yeah, this is going to be returned. I have been stocking this dress for quite some time. In New York, there are probably like seven Zara's, I would say, that I've personally been to. And this slip dress, every time I go to a Zara, is sold out, not available, or not in my size, or not in the color that I wanted, which is all so frustrating. So I bought the same dress in like a darker blue, and I just didn't love it. I didn't love the shade on me. And it might have been because it was more of like a like a midnight blue and I like I don't it's not my favorite so I got this slip dress in the olive leopard print I thought that this was going to be I just I bought this because I am going to uh Aruba in a few weeks and I thought this would be so cute on the beach with a nice little tan and I can wear this obviously all seasons like this is a great dress to layer a sweater on top of or in the summer or in the spring with like a blazer so I'm very excited about this piece Okay, like I said, this dress is so cute, especially once I have a nice little tan going on on the beach. It'll be super flattering. I had to take my bra off for you to like kind of see how it fits, but it is kind of that cowl neck. So I'm going to have to get some like fashion tape to make sure that it stays on. But other than that, I'm so happy about this. I think it's so cute and super flattering and a definite steal. Next is this um, gorgeous mint colored sweater. This is my favorite color of all time. Oh, you can see like all the fuzzies flying around. But I don't own anything in my wardrobe. And I think it's because I automatically assume this color was like Easter because it's so pastel. But I, it was on like a super sale. Like I think I got this for like $12. And I'm, I love this color, so why didn't I why don't I have more of it? Anyway, so I decided to buy it. I tried it on in store um, a few weeks ago in preparation for this Zara sale that I knew was coming. I wasn't sure like what was going to be on sale, but I knew to go into the store and just like kind of gauge what I liked. And this was one of them. And I think I tried it on in gray, but I was so happy to see that it was available in green. I think this looks so good. It's a little itchy, um, but nothing that like a t-shirt underneath can't fix. Cause it's mostly like in my chest area, which gets a little sensitive when I wear like itchy, itchy sweaters. But this is so nice and I love it. I might wear this with like darker jeans in the, in the fall or winter, but this is a good little spring outfit with like white boots. Really cute. This is another one of these the purchases that I <clears throat> saw in store, didn't have my size, didn't have the color I wanted, was unavailable everywhere. So happy that I got it on sale too, because I think it was originally like $39.95 and I got it for I think $12.95. And I am <laughs> so obsessed with it. It's kind of the same trend as like the balloon dresses that you've been seeing, but this is just like a top with a balloon sleeve and a peplum. It's so cute on the model on the site. She has like really tight skinny jeans on and I think like booties or something and a big chunky earring. This I will be wearing to all of the holiday parties that I will attend and look very festive. And I think this is this is a great this is a great transition piece too into from like winter to spring. And then again from spring to fall. Or no, summer to fall. Okay, so I just put on a pair of Aristia jeans to show you like what this would look like. Um, I'm obsessed. I kind of feel like a cupcake <laughs> in the best way possible. It's so comfortable and lightweight and I feel like I could eat. I should have got this for Thanksgiving actually. I should have worn this on Thanksgiving so that I could like hide when I unbutton my pants. <laughs> but going forward, this will be like my dinner top. <laughs> Okay, so that's everything from Zara. As I did mention, I am going to Aruba in a few weeks and I will film a video on like what I'm packing for Aruba, 
but in my Black Friday adventures online, I did buy a few swimsuits from Revolve and I wanted to show them here. I'm not going to be trying these on for you because I'm not, one, I'm not tan, two, I'm really cold right now, and three, I just don't want to. So, <clears throat> the first swimsuit up is from, uh, I don't know, let me see. Oh, this is from Lovers and Friends. This is one of my favorite brands on Revolve. Um, I always end up liking or hearting items on Revolve and then looking in my cart and being like, oh, it's all lovers and friends. Like I didn't, I don't even make the connection when I'm just scrolling through. So this is a one piece bikini with one strap. I do, I did try this on um, when I first got it. And this is going to be one of those swimsuits that you have to just like stay still because I, I went to like reach for something or like bend down and grab my whatever my phone or something and my boob completely came out so this is going to be a lounging only no movement bikini um and I love this color next up also oh no this oh yeah next up also from lovers and friends I put a poll on Instagram on um what people thought of these bikinis and I thought it was so funny because when I got this when I got this bathing suit, I had already I had already bought it and tried it on. And then I put it on Instagram to see like what people thought. And no one liked this bikini. No one. <laughs> for the first like 20 minutes, all the votes were no for this. Which I thought was so... I couldn't stop laughing because it's like I already bought it. And I already love it. <laughs> but I'm seeing everyone just hate it. Which I mean pretty on brand for like some of the things that I wear. So I'll show you the bottoms. They're just regular high-waisted bottoms. I got them in a large um, because I don't like showing all of my booty cheeks on the beach. The top is my favorite. Some people don't like it and that's fine. It's this, it's a wire bikini. It is completely like, I can't fold it. Like this is, this is staying still. This is completely, not going anywhere this is super flattering on me and i highly suggest you at least try it on because i was surprised at how much i loved it this is from a brand called kaya swim um i had never heard of them before but the reason i bought this is because i was shopping online for bikinis for um for aruba obviously and all of these all these brands and all of these bikinis are just so expensive. This is a bad habit, but I kind of associate like a piece or a piece of clothing or accessory or something with a time and place. So for example, I had this like long orange skirt, which I thought was very Italian and like it fit the vibe perfectly. I wore it in, in Italy and I loved it. And then I got home and I was like, I don't, I don't want to wear this because it just doesn't seem like Oh, that's the Zara box. So anyway, I just didn't want to wear it again because it just didn't seem to fit the memory, if that makes sense. Long story short, I wanted to get a bikini that I could wear multiple times over and that was kind of like just a staple that I wouldn't get bored of. Um, so this brand, Kaya, what is it again? Kaya Swim. I bought this, this top. And the reason why I purchased this one is because it's reversible. So the one side is the purple and the other side is just like, they call, I think they called it Bellini, which is super cute. But not only is it reversible, it's also versatile. <laughs> I guess that's the word. You can wear it as like a triangle top or as kind of like a sports bra vibe right here. And I'm obsessed with it. That's four different bikinis that I can wear and I can mix and match and not feel guilty. I could easily wear this bottom with a white top and it would still look so cute. Or I could wear this bottom with the pink top of the of the same set. I'm, I bought them and I'm very excited about it because I basically just bought four bikinis in one, which love that for me and my wallet. 
Okay, next up is And Other Stories. I was a little late to the And Other Stories sale. I didn't realize that they were even having one because they didn't really do a lot of marketing for it. I think I just like happened to see an ad on Instagram and it said 20% off. And then I saw the 20% off and I was like, mm, that's not really, I mean, it's a sale obviously, but it's not like, like Zara, I got all those items for like 20 to 50% off. So I did order this a little late, but I knew that I loved it. This is their, um, this is their turtleneck. It, it feels almost kind of like those neoprene, um, bikinis. It's very thick and warm and I love this color. I think it's so beautiful. And this is also another good transition piece. Like this is good for fall, winter, uh, spring even. And here is the another story sweater. It looks a little pink on camera, but it is more of like a red orange. I love it. I kind of feel like I'm like going to the slopes or something, <laughs> you know? Like I'm going to the top of the mountain. It's very cute. Um, I love the neck. It's very soft and it's very slimming. I own so many sweaters that are like big and chunky and I like that this one's like a little bit of a crop and nice and snug. That was the only thing I purchased from Amanda Other Stories. Um, everything else was not in my size, which is heartbreaking, but whatever. And then lastly, for what I have now, I did order something from Reformation. I ordered a bodysuit and a tank top. Both of them are white. Um, I'll insert pictures right here. Um, they're not crazy, like, uh, exciting, but they are good staples and I think I got them for 30% off. So that's a great deal. And I used Afterpay, which you know, I love. And, um, so yeah, so waiting for those to be delivered, I was stalking the FedEx man, but it looks like my package is still head up, held up in Indiana or something. So TBD on that. Hope they fit. <clears throat> so my next purchase that I made, and I guess my last, um, other than my reformation is from well Sephora and Glossier. So I'll start with what I bought from Sephora. I've already used it because I heard such great things. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if it's gonna focus. It's the Lancome Defensiles. Defensiles <laughs> black mascara. It's incredible. I bought it because I love this wand. I, I like the thick thicker wands that aren't plastic. I don't know what material this is, but I've heard insanely good things about it. Um, I follow a lot of beauty uh, makeup bloggers and vloggers that rave about this. And I think it was like a 15% off at Sephora. So I snagged it. <clears throat> and then lastly from Glossier, I, I think the sale was 20% off, which is pretty good. I don't really ever see Glossier doing sales. I think you get like a 15% or 10%, like a welcome email code. But other than that, I haven't seen any other sale from them. So I thought now is the time to stock up on the things that I haven't tried and the things that I love. So I love their bomb.com. I haven't tried the berry yet so i decided to go with that it smells so good it almost reminds me of when i would go to the dentist and get a teeth cleaning and they would ask me what kind of fluoride flavor i'd want or toothpaste flavor or whatever and i would always say grape that's what it smells like <sighs> i don't know why that's comforting but it is um it's got a little bit of a, of a purple tint let me show you it comes out really slow that I did notice. So that's what, that's how it comes out. Um, it's not as, it's not as insanely purple on the lip as it is on my finger. As long as you like rub it around and make sure that it's blended in, it's actually super moisturizing and it feels amazing. Second to last is the Glossier uh, Pro Tip Eyeliner. This is probably the best eyeliner utensil i've used if that makes sense i have a bunch of other eyeliners and pen eyeliners and i have the elf uh little wand but i i can never get it so precise that it looks right it's so insanely accurate when i'm drawing a line that it's almost foolproof i want to say like look at this line 
Oh, I didn't even. It's so thin and it's super dainty and delicate and it's like almost foolproof and it doesn't smudge. I have oily eyelids. <laughs> I don't know if that's super common or not, but I sweat or I'm like super oily on my eyelids. So everything comes off all the time. Doesn't matter what it is. If I put a primer down, if I put moisturizer down, if I put, if I pack on shadows, it just comes off. So this having it stay all day is really important and i tested it out yesterday and it did and i'm very very pleased next and last is the glossier lip gloss um this is kind of what they're known for at least that's how i like became to know the brand is through their lip gloss um i'm actually wearing it right now but i'll reapply because i i need to because i've been talking so much this is their red shade I do have the clear shade, but this is just a little bit more fun. This seems to match my lip color pretty well. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I think it looks great. It feels good, as, as many of you know, if you have the Glossier lip gloss. It's thick, but it's not too sticky. It doesn't do that, like... That, like, gross thing when, like, the lip gloss, like pulls apart in your lips. I hate that, I think it's disgusting, and ew, I'm so glad it doesn't do that. Um, but yeah, that is from Glossier. Now that I've done too much talking, I will wrap up this video. I will put links of everything below that I bought, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and oh, more fuzzies from that sweater. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can always follow me on Instagram at styled in the street for more content from me and to see when new videos are coming up. Um, I would really appreciate it. Please comment below if you um, have any suggestions for me as I am super new at this still and I would love to hear your feedback. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. <sighs> the sad reality of trying on all these clothes. <laughs> And I still haven't unpacked from Thanksgiving. Oops.